guys, guys, so you know how I was, like, abroad for, like, 50 million days? Well, while I was abroad, I got these stickers, and they are literally the cutest thing in the world. I'm off topic. <sighs> What's up YouTube, Laughing Pikachu here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be kind of different. I'm really excited though, okay? I'm excited, I'm very excited. But yeah guys, recently I was approached by an app called Snups. Maybe you have heard of them before. It looks like this and it is amazing and I have made a video about them before but it's been a while so if, to the new people, hi, how are you? Are you having a good day today? Hi, okay, back on topic. These stickers are so cute though! But yeah, so I was contacted by the app Snups. Um, people there wanted me to make a video promoting them. And basically, instead of just talking about Snups, I decided, you know what? I'm going to try this app out myself. They have a new feature. I'm going to actually, like, use it and give just you guys an honest review of it and show myself in that process. Okay guys, so uh, you guys see what is on my phone right now. I'm gonna pop it up on screen so while we're talking you can see what is happening on the crazy world of this piece of technology, okay? Just, just, just stay with me, okay? It's, I know, it's, it's very complicated. Just technology, it's... Alright, so at the bottom left corner you see the Snups app and um, this is currently my account. If you're not following me yet, like, you good, bro. You you good? You just go follow me, okay? Uh, but yeah, so currently you can see my stuff. Um, it's basically like all my collections. So we got the sealed collection, the Pikachu card collection. We got the hyper rare, secret rares, and the full arts. And basically uh, within each of the collections, there's, there's, you can see um, the various cards or sealed cards that I have available. So like, for example, I have a bunch of hyper rares, including the new one. Look at that Articuno GX. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this new set. <gasps> My wallet is already crying. I know you hear it too, don't you? Anyways, they've got this new feature where basically you can make stuff available. You can accept offers. You see it right there. Boom. Accept offers. You tap it and it's like, oh, snap. That's where they're, whoa. Yeah. And then, boom, just like that, we are officially accepting offers on this card. And so anyone can make an offer on this card, and then I can review the offer to see if I want to accept it or reject it. Uh, multiple people can make offers, so I can look at all of them and decide, okay, this one was the highest one, I want to go with it, or decide to not go with any of them at all. But anyways, so I decided that I'm going to put 12 pieces of my collection available on this website um, and just document my experience of trying to list items on the site. How easy is it? How hard is it? Uh, what are some critiques? Um, so that if you guys are interested in doing something similar, uh, you guys can see what the process looks like. Alright guys, so I'm going to be actually showing you um, the process it takes to list a completely new item for sale. But first, I need to be showing you guys what the 12 items I picked were. So let's do that right now. Number one. All right, guys, so this here is a collection of tins. Uh, there are a total of six of the Dawn, or sorry, Dusk Main Necrozma tins and six of the Dawn Wings Necrozma tins. These are just empty tins. Uh, I opened up a case of them on the channel. I have no use for these empty tins, and maybe, just maybe, someone can find a use for them, maybe for storing cards or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and list them, and maybe someone on in the Snups community will find a use for them. Introducing item number two. All right, so this here is the limited edition Pokemon gotta catch them all pokeball and inside if you pop it open It is a gold plated Pokemon card. These are pretty cool. Um, I opened it up on the channel a long long time ago And it's been sitting in my closet So maybe we'll find a better owner for it that can have a, a sort of like nice display for it Maybe there's someone out there who has a near complete collection of all of these and they're missing just the Jigglypuff one I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and have it listed Item number three. All right, guys, this one is pretty cool. There's four Pokemon playmats. I have opened up so many Pokemon collection boxes, and I have been blessed to have a whole bunch of these, and so I've selected four of the more newer playmats um, and to offer up for you guys. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and post them, but we have two of the Shining Legends ones and then two from the ginormous collection boxes. All very cool and very nice material, too. 
Item number four. All right, guys, this is a pretty big one. Um, probably the most valuable item that's going to be listed. Um, pretty excited about this. Was originally planning on actually just listing this on eBay. Then I figured, you know what? This might be a good opportunity to give it to someone who would really appreciate it. Um, but yes, guys, inside of this contains a near complete common to GX set of Ultra Prism uh, during our, you know, booster case opening worth of Ultra Prism packs. Uh, we completed a lot of the set and um, it's all displayed in this binder. And so I'm going to make the cards themselves available. But we have a lot of the reverses, um, all of the GXs that you need. It's a really cool set. Uh, you guys know that this place, this set has a special place in my heart. We are missing that one card right there. Um, I think we're missing one trainer card too, but anyways, the pictures on Snups will of course display everything that it has. But yeah, there's a bunch of ultra rares, uh, you know, the GXs and everything, Prism Stars. It's a really cool set. Item number five. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, so this one is pretty exciting. So I'm going to be listing these three cards together in one post. Uh, but these are all movie promos from Japan. They have the cool shattered holographic pattern. And this is from the Pokemon Movie XY. So we got Xerneas, and then we have two different Diancy ones. Um, and these were all released in Japan. Um, exclusive promos, as you can see by the different stampings on them. Uh, but yeah, I thought it might be sort of cool for all the English collectors out there who don't really have an opportunity to get crazy sealed promos like this with cool patterns. So, yeah. And guys, the remaining six items, items 7 through 12, are going to be lots of 15 holographic Japanese cards. I'm going to go to the card cam and show off each of these lots individually, but we got some pretty awesome cards. Lot number seven. Here we go, guys. So these are the 15 cards selected. And these, um, I tried to include some older cards, like the ones you see right here. Just beautiful old school holographic cards. As well as some more newer cards as well to create a nice variety. This one here is from Flashfire. Uh, but these are all Japanese hollows. So here is the 15 in lot number seven. Quickly go through them. But there should be no duplicates within each of the lots. And again, there's a nice variety of both older and newer cards. So there's seven. Lot number eight is this one right here. Go through it. Got again the Empoleon. This is a very cool movie promo. Actually, no, a blister pack promo, I believe. We have, you know, old school cards from the Diamond and Pearl era, uh, from Black and White era. Lot number nine is probably going to be a pretty popular one because it does include this beautiful Charizard holographic card as well as some other beauties such as this Blaziken. Uh, this Incineroar was a promo card in Japanese. Uh, so some of these cards are definitely harder to find than others, including, you know, this old school card right there. Beautiful stuff. Ending off with a Curum right there. Lot number 10 does not disappoint either, though. We definitely have some cool stuff, including the Ninetales you see right there. This is another Japanese exclusive. We had a beautiful black and white era Mesprit holographic card. Volcarona. And ending off with a Slurpuff. Lot number 12. We have this beautiful stadium card with Pikachu and Pichu. We also have a beautiful Milotic from Flashfire. And last but certainly not least is lot number 12. We do have the winner Japanese promo card, very hard to find, um, as well as some lovely Japanese hollows, including a Suicune. Look at this, just beautiful. Groudon and a Machamp. All right guys, so now I'm going to teach you how to add items to Snups in case you want to add a completely new item. You just go to add items, it's really simple, and then you can just snap a picture. I'm gonna do it live right now. Boom, snap the picture. Um, this is one of the listings that I had mentioned, so I'm gonna just title it Japanese Movie Promos, which you see on screen right now, and then that's pretty much it. You can add a description, add it to a specific shelf if you want to. Uh, right now, this one is just going to go to unshelved items, and if we tap on it, I can start accepting offers for it, and then we're good to go. 
Alright guys, well that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you guys have not already followed me on Snups, like, you good, bro. You can go follow me. My username is at Laughing Pikachu. Also, I do follow people back. Thank you for being so excited about me following you back. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to just be on this platform and start really using it again. And yeah, thank you to Snups for sponsoring today's video uh, and making all of this stuff possible. Um, all of the Celestial Storm openings and everything um, would not have been possible without them, so thank you. Anyways guys, if you would like to get a part of my collection that I featured on the channel um, in this video, it's all available on Snups if you would like to make an offer. Definitely don't feel like you have to though. Um, and, but yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys! These stickers are so cute though!